My top five favorite act actors and actresses. Yeah, but Randy. Um. Okay. Actors. Um. Okay. I'm just randomly saying it. Okay. So, Prabhas, Aldo Arjun, um, Salman, Ritik Roshan, and Varun Dhawan. Okay. Yeah. And actresses. Um. By default, the first one would be Madhuri Dixit, uh, Kareena Kapoor, Deepika Padukone. Uh, Samantha, Nayantara. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you have any advice to give to anybody who's watching at home about uh, how, uh, if they want to be an actor in the film industry, how they could try? I don't know if I'm an actor, I don't know if I'm an actor. One thing I would like to tell everybody who's. Uh, trying to get into acting or who really wants to get I mean become an actor or something it's nothing related to acting uh, but um, I think that everyone should have always a backup plan except for acting so that uh, probably we see so many like you know so many girls so many people suffering like you know struggling and they just spend their like lives uh, giving auditions and then like back in Bombay if I say like there are a lot of people who, who just keep on struggling all their lives to get into acting um, so I would always say that if you're really passionate about acting go for it but uh, always have a backup plan mm -hmm. yeah yeah and so for people who are trying to get into acting like where should they go okay that's a secret <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, that's a secret. Um, I would not say come to Telugu industry because I'll have competition. <laughs> um, no, I mean, uh, okay, I don't know. I mean, I, I really have no clue because, uh, to be honest, I have never given an audition. I mean, uh, my first call for audition and I uh, appeared that thing and I got my first film. So, that is how my first film happened. So, post that, I don't really know if I've gone for auditions or something like that so I'm I am a bad person to ask that question but uh, no a me life log pet the life lesson you have a chaptara pet the life lesson actually na life ante chala casual ga velindi ani in me years i go in the i don't even know how days are just passing and uh, Life lesson and uh, to tell somebody, I mean, to advise uh, people or uh, like uh, what kind? Uh, me, Ramana, learn chess. Me, life law. Of course, uh, the entire life has been a learning process because uh, I, I came out, I'm basically from Gujarat and uh, I left my house when I was um, in 10th standard, like post my 10th. I have been in hostel and uh, I've been studying in Bombay and post that every day was a learning lesson because uh, uh, till date uh, I don't have a godfather in industry mm -hmm. or yeah in the acting field so um, until now I've been like just just every day I've learned I've known people how I mean you know how to uh, get my things done so yeah, it's always been learned. I mean, I've always kept learning with every new experience. Mm -hmm. Are there any experiences that you'd like to share with the viewers that are special or important? Mm -hmm. Not really, but like like uh, like I said, every day is a learning experience for me. Every day I learn new things. So at my age, when you were like 13, 14, mm -hmm. uh, what did you want to be? Um... At the age of 30, mm -hmm. I had one academy of uh, dance where I used to teach kids and I had like around 2,000, 3,000 kids mm -hmm. getting trained under me back in Gujarat. So uh, I think at that moment, uh, what I had in my mind was I want to get into choreography for sure. Mm -hmm. But um, I always learned that I was good in management, like managing things. Yeah. So. I think if if not for an actress, I would have been 
in some company managing uh, oh, stuff. Okay. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there are a lot of children shows on. So you, when you were a child growing up, what was your favorite TV show? What was? What do you remember? Mm, like I told you, uh, I am not so much into like watching TV or watching films. So, uh, but like I remember me as a child, we never used to sit like in front of the TV. We mostly like unlike kids today, we usually used to go out, play with friends, and when we are like really really exhausted, come back, do our lessons, and then go to bed. So that that was how we have grown up. But yeah, I still remember. I used to love watching Small Wonder. Yeah, oh. that was one show that I used to love watching. Yeah, but apart from that, I don't think so. Like I have never been into watching cartoons or um, yeah, not not really. So okay. yeah. So um, for little kids, when they dream big, what should they dream for, or should they dream big? I think every every kid should dream big, and um, um, yeah, I mean, uh, whatever you're good at, uh, don't restrict yourself. That okay, I want to. I mean, just because my dad wants me to become a doctor or an engineer, I am. I have to do that. No, I think now the world is really changing. The times have gone where there was a huge demand of engineers and doctors, but now every field. Like uh, even actors or even singers or whichever whichever field, I think there's lot and lot of scope for everyone. So uh, I would say that don't restrict yourself to specific fields. Uh, whatever you are good at, do that. And I'm sure that um, whatever you like doing, you'll do that much better than you would uh, do something that you're forced to do. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So. Are you happy with the place that you're in now uh, and the position that you're in or would you like to go somewhere and do you think you'll be happier in a different spot? Mm, I, for now, like, um, I am very happy where I am uh, because, uh, yeah, I, I very much focus on being in prison. So I think this is the best life I'm living right now and, um, and from no, like uh, in future, um, I am not sure that if I've, I'll be in the same field or somewhere else because, like I said, I was I was a graphic designer, then I jumped into choreography, and then now I'm an actor. So I don't know what my future is gonna be, but uh, what I know is whatever I like, I just jump into it. It's nothing like now that I'm an actress, I see myself as. Uh, you know, working as an actress only down five years. No, it's not that. I'm, I'm really interested in uh, directing. I am. I am, of course, interested in choreography. So you never know. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So aside from acting, Ipuru, uh, let's talk about uh, this Tesla Model X that we're driving in. Oh, this is a lovely car. Yeah. I mean, you know, I feel like mm, a bird. Because did you see those falcon wings mm -hmm, coming so. up? Yeah, <laughs> and I just had a couple of pictures like uh, uh, like a few days back, and it really made me feel like bird. Uh, and uh, to talk about the features of this car, I mean, it has an autopilot. You can just leave the steering and just it drives. Or uh, it's an auto drive, and it's an auto park also. Mm -hmm. So it's a brilliant car, I should say. Yeah. I think if I own this car. Uh, I would not keep a driver with me. <laughs> I don't need one. So yeah. Okay, Roni. So I think we're just about to reach the airport. Any more questions? Actually, I think that's it. We have no more questions. Uh huh. Lovely. So I think it was great talking to you, and uh, I wish you luck. I've seen the trailer, uh, the movie that you're doing of uh, Growing Up Smith. And uh, I really feel that you're really doing a good job. And at this day, I mean this age, um, I think you're you're just brilliant. Thank so, you. Good luck with that. Thank you.